All of this and this was cooked in this. This is my new favorite travel kitchen item. Let me show you everything I was able to cook with it. Welcome to Eunice's Travel Test Kitchen. That's what we're doing here today is we are testing this little warming bag here. Yes, this is something that you, most people will use just to warm up some food or take food that's already warm, but you know me, I have to push it to the limits and test it and say, is this thing multifunctional and worth taking with me when I travel? So let's get to it. In order for me to bring something with me while I'm traveling, it usually has to be something I can't live without or something that's multi-purpose, and this fits the bill for me. You can use this portable oven with a variety of different vessels, including glass, plastic, or metal. For me, silicone is the name of the game when it comes to cooking or anything else that I want to keep fresh. I like pairing that little warmer with these collapsible silicone bowls. Uh, the lid and the bowl is made of food grade silicone, so I can heat this up in that. I can put it in the microwave. I can even put it in a toaster oven. You just can't use it on the stove, on the stove top. So it's very versatile. It collapses down to something this small. So with the lid on, it's this big as you can see right here. Um, so that way it's compact when you're not using it. It's really easy to put away. I like that it has a vent. And again, I like the clear because I can see what's in here that I'm cooking, if it's bubbling or whatever it is. Plus using it for food storage in a refrigerator, these things always come in handy. What I like about these are these bags are also silicone, so they seal up really well so they can keep everything fresh. I use them for food, but also for hot and cold packs when I'm traveling. You can put these in that little oven, and I put two of them in there if I need some sort of warming pad, and then that way when one gets cool, I switch it out and then put this one back in to warm back up. Of course, this warming bag does exactly what it's intended to do, which is to reheat leftovers and make them perfectly warm so that you have a nice warm lunch or dinner. However, I wanted to push the limits and see, could I hard boil some eggs in this little warming oven? So this is what I did. All right, I have a confession to make. Um, I forgot those eggs were in the cooker today. <laughs> I put them in like at 9.30 this morning and it's almost six. So I took them out. I thought, oh, they're either gonna be like not cooked at all because it didn't get hot enough or they're gonna be overcooked. Let me show you how they turned out. I kid you not, this is how those eggs turned out after sitting in that hot water for eight hours. I am blown away. The surprise of the day was the hard boiled eggs that I thought I either destroyed, but they turned out pretty much perfect. They're a little green like on the very edges here, but they turned out almost perfect. I'm so surprised. Perfect for overnight. So just how hot will it make your water? If you want to make tea or oatmeal or anything else, let's find out. All right, normally I would not heat water in that particular unit. I always bring my little immersion heater, but I just want to prove that if you just had this one kitchen item, you could heat water in this. Now it's going to take you a while, but it's something that you can use to make tea, coffee, soup, or oatmeal. Right, let's see the temperature right now. Temperature is 72 degrees. Let's get the lid on it and get it cooking. We saw that it cooked eggs. We know it can get hot, but I wanted to heat some up just to make sure we could do other things. All right, this is another reason why I carry this. If you wanna put some fruit into your uh, oatmeal and you don't have time to go or have a place to find any real fruit, this stuff is literally just fruit that's been mashed up into these little, and I'm just gonna add that to the oatmeal to give it a little bit of fruit and a flavor, and it's gonna make it so tasty. All right, let's check this water out. Ooh, it's warm. It's 
definitely not boiling. So it's 163 degrees and that'll be good enough for me to make a little bit of this oatmeal here. Let's give it a little mix. Let that just stand for a little bit. In the meantime, we're going to make some miso soup. So I have some low sodium miso soup here that I can make. We're just going to go ahead and oops, squeeze that in here and add some hot water. All right. All right, here's the soup. And it's good. Just warm enough to be hot soup, not boiling. It's not going to burn your mouth off. Perfect. Let's try the oatmeal now. Fully cooked. You know, this would make a great dessert, actually. It's so yummy. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use that to heat water for tea. It's going to take way too long. That's why I always bring my immersion heater. It's just nice to know that if I wanted to start some oatmeal or some eggs the night before and wake up to something warm, ready to go, I have that all ready with that little warming um, oven. And also then, if I wanted to do something like warm up leftovers, that's always the possibility too. It's one thing to warm up leftovers, but the real challenge is, can you cook something from scratch? Let's take a look. All right, we're starting off with some raw chicken thighs, some bell peppers and asparagus. Oh, and I'm also gonna use some chicken broth. And I'm starting this at noon, so we'll see how long it will take. All right, we're gonna start off with this chicken right here. I'm gonna to try to put one chicken breast in each of these little silicone containers. I'll save the rest for another time. And I'm just going to just cut these peppers up into little chunks. And I love asparagus. We'll put some asparagus in. I'm just going to add a little bit of salsa because it's going to give it a little bit of flavor and some moisture to cook it in. All right, let's get the lids on these securely. So I want to make sure that these lids are on nice and secure. But I also want to make sure that this is vented so it doesn't like explode. It's hot steam all over me. These are in here nice and tight. They're vented and let's get this plugged in. And closed all up. We'll check this in a few hours. All right, it's 521. I just got back from the store and being out all day, so let's check it. Right, let's see what's going on with this. Ooh, it looks hot. Let's check the temperatures. Ooh. Turn it on here. All right, all right. And my chicken's at the bottom. I want to make sure that I can... Here we go. It's 177. Just to be sure, I'm going to check both. I want to make sure I get in that chicken. Go. 
This one's at 170, still cooked. So both of these are ready to eat. All right, let's try this chicken and vegetables. Said it was cooked all the way. It looks delicious. It's definitely cooked. It's falling right apart here. Kind of hard to cut with a camera in front of me like this, but let's give this a taste. All right, here we go. It is perfectly cooked. I am completely surprised, pleasantly surprised. I can cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner with this little heating oven. Lots of great juice and stuff in here too. Healthy. Definitely worth it. Now, I came, went to the store and came back and this was already cooked. It may have been cooked sooner, I don't know, but it kept it at a great perfect temperature so that it was fully cooked, not overcooked, and kept it warm for me to eat. So I don't know exactly how long it took to do this. I was thinking it was going to take all day and I came back after five hours and it was done. It may have been done sooner, but all I know is I came back to a nice hot meal. All right, now I'm going to attempt a dessert. Okay, we're going to take these chocolate fondues and we're going to warm them up right in here. And then for those of you who may want something sugar-free, I'm going to use these little sugar-free baking chips and see if I can put them in a silicone cup here and get these to melt for a little dessert. Oh, one got on there. Don't want that melting on there. Whoopsie. All right. Be back in a few minutes. All right, it has been about 45 minutes and I want to just check this. So these are all melted and yummy. Nice. Try this one. Also all melted and yummy. I'm tasting. But this is not melted yet. Looks like that might take a little longer. But let's try the chocolate and berries. That looks super yummy. One of my favorite desserts right there. If you didn't want to use the heater part of this, it's really easy to remove. You literally just take this whole thing out and this just becomes a little insulated bag to put like salads and keep them cold or just keep something warm in if you wanted it slightly warm. So that's great about this too. Great for picnics. But also if you're sitting at your desk and you just really want to heat something up while you're working so you have a nice hot lunch, this works great. But like I said, I will be taking this on most of my next travel adventures. It's been a wild two and a half days of me cooking in this kitchen with this little travel oven. It's actually been really fun to experiment with that just to see what I could come up with but now I want to know what would you cook in this little oven put those in the comments below because I'm curious I'd like to see if you've done some great cooking what that would be and also what are your favorite travel kitchen items that you take with you on your travels because all of us would like to know a great way to make our travel food and cooking a little bit healthier and more budget friendly put those in the comments below too if you'd like a link to this or anything else that I've used in the video, they'll all be in the video description, so check that out. And for those of you who shop my Amazon storefront regularly to support me as a content creator, thank you so much. All right, as promised, I said I was going to reveal the winner of the giveaway from two weeks ago, which is this wonderful Theory of Simple notebook as well as this Theory of Simple canvas bag that's great for just organizing all your things. And then of course you can't have too many bags. This series of five wonderfully colorful clear mesh bags to organize some things in. And the winner 
of this wonderful set is And the winner is Magic Monet. Magic Monet, you are the winner of this set. I will get in touch with you and find out your address so I can mail that to you. For those of you who want to have some of your own theory of simple merch like this hat or this clever little yellow bag or any of these other things that I mentioned, you can go to my channel, hit store, and it'll drop down and show you everything that I have on sale in my merchandise shop and all of the proceeds of course do help support me as a content creator so thank you for taking a look and shopping at my store so until the next time remember to juice life drink the joy cook in one of your portable ovens i'll see you in the next video bye all right as promised i told you that i would be who's calling me A couple of these stashes bags are good for other things too. Wow, that had air in it. <laughs> yeah, you can take me out, but you can't dress me up. Of course I get chocolate right on a beige top. Yeah, nice. I can't open this, why can't I open this? Honey, I hope you're hungry for Southwest chicken for lunch because that's what I'm making.